It feels like it's been a very, very long time, and that's because it has. So for those of you who don't watch the main series, my PC melted, more or less. Um, I had to do a complete reinstall of both this, uh, the mod that is, the sub mods, everything, um, CK2, Windows, and my BIOS. Here we are, we're back. There are some problems though. I can't work out the very minute changes, and any of you who've played CK2 multiplayer will know that if you have even the slightest file different between yours and the person's you're playing, the checksum will alter. I don't entirely know why, but I've got a different checksum now to what I had before. There are also some weird things happening in the world. First thing you might notice is that uh, the Gilded Kraken mod, for whatever reason, doesn't have the right symbol. I think this is the symbol of the Storm God. Uh, either way, we've got that now, so that's fine. Not a big deal. It's not exactly the Merchant Break or anything, but it is a little weird. Um, what is weird are, are the flags and the rulers and their traits, things like that. So all traits in CK2 are in like a, a traits file and they have a number associated with them. Certain mods add traits into the middle and that can shift the order of things. And, and if you load traits differently during a save game, it can, it can fuck things up. The unfortunate truth is that's exactly what happened. So if we look at our last character, for example, uh, Iron King, Silas II, who lasted all of a single playthrough. He's apparently uh, the widow of a Dothraki Carl. He apparently displays an eagle, and he's a, a pillar. He is apparently a pillar. Um, he was obviously of House Greyjoy and a Divine Bloodline, who apparently had the Iron Throne as well. Don't remember that bit. So yeah, it's not looking good. Our mother is still alive. She's uh, She looks fairly normal. She had the trait wise rather than uh, brilliant, but you know, that's a minor downside. We're still the same though. I've made sure we're the same, so we've got Whole Bloodline and Brilliant. I'm training us in Struggle. Which I feel like is the most appropriate thing. That's all I've done so far. And checked on a few characters. The first thing we want to do is probably get to Betrothed. Um, who is this? Sher Shirley. She's our aunt. But she's 15. So she's actually fairly young. I suppose her dad was fairly young. Wasn't he? he was only 27 when he died. Um, Greyjoy Bloodline Durandum Bloodline. Well that's clearly not true. Brilliant though. And Immaculate. And whoa. Authoritative, just, diligent, ambitious and deceitful. I don't know what she was like before. I can't imagine she was too different. But she seems incredibly good. So we'll go ahead and betroth ourselves to her. That could be maybe a concern. Uh, might be an issue that we'll have to worry about later on. But let's let's worry about that, you know, when we actually start getting the inbred kids turn up. Besides that, let's take a look at the important characters here. So the King of the Iron Throne, King Preston, is an imbecile of House Durandon. Uh, again, a little bit of a worry there. He's got a rare artifact. Now, the artifacts should be identical, ideally. Obviously, we've got some weird, like, jewel artifacts, things like that, where seizing Valyrian steel doesn't seem to work right. But besides that, everything in terms of artifacts should be fine. So when the current characters that are alive die off, we should be back to normal, more or less. Um, what about, say, like, uh, who's the king of the Westlands right now? Oh, there isn't one, because they're the Lannisters, aren't they? Well, like, the king of the Stormlands is a an excommunicated member of House Tully. He's also absent-minded. I, look, a lot of things are messed up. I think that would just make things more interesting for a while, at least. Now, obviously, we're a tiny child. We, we, Our father died very young. We are two years old. Thank God we actually had a kid. Otherwise, that would have been the end of the campaign. Because I'm pretty sure, who's our heir now? A, a woman. And I'm not sure if that affects the succession when it comes to the Iron Islands. I think, actually, we lose the Empire-level title. So, thank God this character was born, all things considered. Um, I can actually cut the ethnic primogenity. Yeah, we've only got women. And then some very, very distant men how are you even related to me you are some look at this they are a very 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 distant cousin there holy shit so this is iron king harag his so the first founder of the empire his like son's great great granddaughter or something like that really odd um or great great grandson even so we're in the middle of a rebellion let's go deal with that and obviously i'm not going to show this kid going from age 2 to age 16 because that'll be really really dull but we i will uh sorry Valyrian Steel is rightfully property of House Lannister. I've got House Lannister's Valyrian Steel. What is it? It's, um... Why on, House Lannister's Valyrian Steel is a very, very old, like, Valyrian Steel sword that was lost thousands of years ago. I don't think it's any of these. I think the game is just lying to us. Let's go ahead and equip our crown, at least. Um... What does he want? Widow's Whale. Oh, the sword that was made from, um... Ned Stark's Valyrian Steel sword. They melted it down. I'll say absolutely not. He's not getting that. Empty threats. 100 prestige even though we're a baby. Two years old and we're already telling our vassals to uh, go fuck themselves. Let's go and equip some decent books here. Oh, wait, we can't equip books? Artifact is inactive. Yeah, but I want to I want to equip it, though. Or maybe I just can't because I'm a child. I'm not sure. No. Okay. If we have a look at the artifact trait, we'll actually say that. Age greater than 14. Okay. So there are certain 
books that it looks like we can equip though, like the Rogue Prince. Weird. Okay, obviously we can't equip Valerian Steel or Armor or anything like that. Um, we could equip this dagger and these bracelets though. Golden bracelets or silver bracelets? I'm going to assume golden bracelets. No, they're exactly the same. Fair enough. Um, engraved dagger is not as good as a dragon glass knife. That doesn't seem safe. You're not allowed to equip Valerian Steel, but you can run around with an obsidian knife, which are like incredibly, incredibly sharp. Okay, obviously can't join any societies. I think that's the time we just really want to sit around, let the game sort out some of its problems. It might crash, and I honestly would not be surprised if it crashed. The Age of Dragons ends with the last dragon's dead. The Age of Dragon ends. Oh, no. So that means magic returned, and we just didn't know. The unfortunate truth is, the dragons that we had, Piggy and um, Steve or whatever, and the new one, which we were supposed to name this episode, they're no longer actually going to be dragons. They'll have, they'll have had a different trait and died. They'd, they'd probably have the dragon trait actually removed. Uh, how can we find them? Maybe my dad's friends? No. They're just gone. Okay. I think it's fair if I spawn myself in a single dragon egg and hatch that later on. Because obviously we've got no chance of getting those dragons back. We'll name the first one Piggy again. We'll name the second one Steve or something. And then we'll... The third one will be whatever was picked from the random comments. Fortunately, it's going to take a couple of episodes here to get back up to scratch. Well, I'll, I mean, I'll get him up to a decent age where we can actually start playing the game this episode. But, yeah, that's a real shame. Let's go ahead and skip through most of our education then. I'll include the important stuff. My beloved aunt is concerned she's still not married. We want to be careful with this because she is our heir. So she could be a little bit above the station and we could suddenly find ourselves dead. So I do want to be careful with that. We could marry her off non-matrilineally and just get rid of her. Um, at least get her out of our realm for now. Who do we want to marry her off to, though? Or we could marry her off to another member of House Hall, a distant relative. That would be probably the best idea, so that if they do have kids and we do have to play as her, we know that her eventual heirs are also going to be of our house, so we're not going to get game over or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'll find her someone else. There you go. Um, Princess Beany? My courtier of House Targaryen. Tully and Durandon. Uh, citation needed. Not sure. I think she might be making that up. Yeah, okay. What else can we do then? Pike, set crown focus. Seems applicable. Commander M. War. No, that's in Tyrosh. I don't think we need to do anything to piss off our vassals at this point. Ideally, we need to keep everyone on side. So a lot of realm management is going to be needed here. God damn it. Assign her as my bodyguard. There we go. Right. We've got bodyguards that I assume like us. Oh, it's actually our mother. So that seems pretty appropriate. Court Dwarf. You'll do. Court Jester. We won't worry about. Everyone's got titles. Good, good, good. Right. So I'm going to skip through his education now. We're going to try and keep the realm together. Any big rebellions, any cool, you know, childhood related events. I will obviously show you guys that. And we'll pick this back up when he's able to rule. Okay, good news. I found Steve and Piggy. I think Steve was already a character of special interest and I just completely ignored it. You know, didn't see it because my microphone's in the way, to be honest with you. But he had the trait Dragon Rider. And that's why he wasn't showing up as a dragon or a friend or anything like that. So I've got rid of that and I've replaced it with the dragon trait, obviously. He has a trait Dragon Slayer. Um, trait Obedient, Shy, Incompetent Commander. But he is locked in the Dragon Pit. So he's not going to leave. So we can actually try and tame Steve or whatever when we become of age. And obviously uh, he can be our mount there. What is Piggy doing? Piggy is a Dragon Rider and a Dragon. Impressive. <laughs> it's just dragons all the way down. 26 Marshal there. Because of, I assume, the boost up from Dragon Rider. Yeah, wow. Uh, obedient and Incompetent Commander. Then we've also got Shraynor, which was the new dragon that obviously we're going to name this episode. Um, also a dragon and lazy. Good. So all the dragons are kicking around. Hopefully magic will return now, fingers crossed. Um, I would like this character to come of age and then we actually, you know, make this kid the immortal one. Oh shit, we've, we've still got the trait dragon. Yeah, I was editing them, obviously the traits back in the and I gave myself dragon. So let's stop being a dragon, because that's very silly. Okay, problem solved. Oh god. Go old Breston of the Iron Isles tried to catch Piggy and failed. Built a lair in Pike. That's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. Ideally, we'd like to tame Piggy because Piggy is obviously the strongest and the biggest dragon we've got. But I think someone else will probably get to it before we come of age, to be honest with you. Oh my god. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Simon of Widow's Tower now rides Piggy into battle. Well, we don't have to worry about it too much because he is of Widow's Tower in Harrenhal. What that means is, the poor guy is probably going to die out very, very quickly. What about Snarks on White Walkers? Get out. Um, 
That's a problem, because we really want a piggy for ourselves, obviously. We might just have to kill off Piggy's owner until eventually we can get ourselves a piggy. We just became king of the trident. Which is fine. That's what we wanted. As you might remember, I gave that and Harren Hall away, because we were fighting in Essos, and it was a huge war between us and pretty much everyone in Essos. However, Harren Hall somehow became under Captain Ben of the South Order Infantry, I assume that is. So that's completely outside of the realm. All I can assume is that Harren Hall was fighting a war that they couldn't afford, and then the South Sword Infantry rose up and, and took it. I don't understand why they wouldn't be our vassals, but either way, it gives us a very, very easy excuse to take this back. I'll become Captain Ben's new liege. We don't want that. So I'm going to start fabricating claims on Harren Hall and see if we can eventually get this whole thing back, you know, take it back in a, in a, in a war. Maybe even make it our capital, because this is going to really fuck with the... Uh, the building in Harren Hall. Actually, it's not too bad. Wait. Rebuilding Harren Hall. Foundational walls are built. Work is slower by two, but faster by five. Okay, it's not too bad right now, but obviously I want it back as soon as possible so I can be in charge of directing this thing. Figured while we wait, why don't we finish off our father, Silas's legacy, who gave his life trying to achieve exactly this and try and grab ourselves a glass candle from somewhere. So, obviously, Narth is definitely a no-go. A lot of it affects us because we're a child. Probably won't take us with them, let's be honest. Um, Lord Loomis appoint... Poor Yosh, I should say. Fired from council. What a shocker. Uh, I've got my retinues loaded up. Let's go ahead and take them raiding. So Port Yosh is in Karth. We're going to get this glass candle just because it gives stat boost and it's also a good indication of when magic returns. Things like that. Um, magic still might be around. That might have just been an error to do with, obviously, the traits kicking around. Are we heading over there now? Let's just take a look. Glass candle. Um, the power of magic is not faded. That's ticked. Now, that means it is fine, right? So that means we could, in theory, with, you know, a learning of 12 and, you know, being mystic or whatever, we could use the glass candle, which is obviously very, very good because it gives decent stat buffs. Um, it also doesn't occupy a slot, so we could get lots of these and really, really buff up our stats. Right, we're a candle collector now, boys. Where are the boats? Uh, pay for... I've been asked to go fetch some supplies at the market, but it's a long walk. Leona is already going to get other things. Pay her to get your groceries. Join up with her. Yeah, I think we'll we'll become friends with Leona Hightower. Why not? The Regency shall decide whether or not to annoy my vassals. They voted in favor of annoying my vassals. What a shocker. Where are my boats? Um, navies? Armies? We'll go ahead and click both of those. Okay, we are on our way. Yeah, let's collect a whole bunch of candles in that case. If the colony in Koryan is struggling to feed its people. Send them supplies. Sure. Where is that? That's Koryan, isn't it? Why don't we have our... Can we even improve a holding that's not ours? Okay, we can't. Don't have a Master of Coin because they just sacked the last one. God, everyone's starting to hate me more and more, and I just can't keep up with it. Um, See, I've already bribed the important members of the council as well. What a mess. Oh, well, let's focus on the fun things. And actually go and try and get this glass candle uh, racket going. Commanding initiative, I'll have no part of the scheme yet. It doesn't matter either way because I don't get a real say in it at all. We could colonize the Howling Bogs. Brilliant. There's another, there's another great dynasty name there. Okay. Um, we could colonize the Howling Bogs. I would like to do some more colonization because it seems like a lot of the colonies have events associated with them. Like, I didn't know Old Stones. Uh, sorry, not... Is it Old Stones? Yeah, I think it was Old Stones where we got the River Crown. I never knew that had anything associated with it, I'll be honest with you. Um, similarly, like, I never knew Summer Hall was a guaranteed Dragon Egg when you colonize that either. Now, when are we going to be able to do this? It is unseaged. It's just uh, currently under siege. Oh, apparently we destroyed it instantly. How the hell did we manage that? Um, brilliant. Okay, uh, send them to the dungeon. Take them into house arrest. What do we want to do? Uh, let's arrest them. And then we can, of course, ransom them off. So we stole a book. True account of Adam of Duskendale. Of course. Ah, that's risky. Okay, at least we got Piggy fighting the center. We should be okay. I couldn't see their troops because of the fog, but... We are good. Okay, we're fine. What was that adventurous threat that was launched against us? It just never happened. Like, genuinely just completely disappeared. It was my aunt, wasn't it? So, Silas's sister. Um, she's in hiding. She's not married, though. Do you want to betroth to me? No. She must not be at war. Not be in prison. It's because it's she's in hiding, I assume. We could invite her back to court. She'll say no. Preparing an adventure against me. Minus, minus, minus. She's not, though. She's, she's not doing that at all. Uh, send, her a, send her a gift? How about now? That's very odd. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. She did marry a pirate, so maybe the pirate government type messed with her a little bit. Doesn't matter. Either way, glass candle. Holy shit, I can't believe it. We actually did it. 
They say that Sir Ramsam Gru now rides Shraenor into battle. Obviously, this dragon we still got to rename, but I was waiting until we were old enough to see if we could actually tame the damn thing. Does the world have room? Who knows? Well, I guess the name that I picked from the random hat is going to be, you know, his dragon's name now. Holy shit. So there's actually only... Who's left? Is it just Steve? Steve's in the dragon pit. Oh, he also looks awesome. Steve, you've grown up to be such a majestic dragon. He's also a republic. Um, wait, where, where is Steve? He was locked in the dragon pit, but clearly he's escaped because he's in the city of Brodsworth, which is in, uh, Pike. Betrothed can marry, sure. We should probably be finding ourselves a new wife, seeing as our other wife that was really good won't ever come back to us now. Got a new wife. It is Tansel Mandley, or Betrothed, I should say. Uh, brilliant, immaculate, honorable, lustful. She seems like a very good character all around. There wasn't really anyone else to go for. There was somebody who was, uh, quick and immaculate, but obviously this is just much better in every way, so... That's closest we could get to our last character. Um, obviously, he doesn't have the incredible traits of the character we were betrothed to, but that's okay. Why are the retinue over near Harrenhal, you ask? That's because we finally did it. We finally got the claim on the duchy. It took a while. Um, well, it has, actually hasn't taken that long at all, has it? But um, we had our Master of Lords here, Narayana Grey Song. It was like 20% yearly, so we were kind of expecting to get it in five years anyway. Got the duchy. It cost me like 5,000 gold, which is why the coffers are... Much, much emptier very, very quickly. We can claim the whole Duchy of Harrenhal. We don't have any county level claims, so these vassals will unfortunately, you know, come with them. Uh, come with the Duchy, that is. So let's go ahead and grab our technically capital back. Now, we do want to raise some troops as well, because they have just about as many men as I've got in retinues. So I don't really want to risk the whole thing here. Oh, they've got a lot of men. We should win that, though, if we reinforce very quickly. Let's just see if we've got... Gorold, are you Piggy's Rider? No, Simon is Piggy's Rider. We'll get Gorold on the flank in that case. I'd rather a Dragon Rider leads the center, and we'll have Ramsey as well. There we go. We should win that one very, very easily. Okay. Um, don't inform me of trials at court. Really couldn't care less. Excellent. There we go. Theobald is imprisoned. 75% war score. Come on, we've got to torch Harren Hall again. Finally, as we, just as we rebuild it, we send in the dragons to go torch it again. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. It better not affect it, otherwise I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, I hate Jousting, by the way. We've gained Sloth and Stressful again, even though I'm pretty sure we already had it. 100% uh, war score. Please don't have undone all my hard work building that thing. He's just became our vassal. That's not how that works. Oh my god, because he's a king-level title. That's ridiculous. I hate this game. That doesn't make any sense. He has got golly land. Okay, now we're going to have to claim Harren Hall itself as well. I've never been so annoyed. Bear with me here. The easiest thing to do, I think, rather than getting claims, is just grant him independence and then obviously push a de jour claim on Harren Hall when our truce has expired. It's basically the best way to do it. It's going to save us a lot of time. We can at least that way have our diplomat as well trying to repair all these relations we're ruining. I can't believe that because this guy's got this damn ridiculous titular kingdom of a single province. He thinks he's immune to me taking my capital back. So how long until we've got a uh, truce with him? Let's just take a look at that. But 10 years time. We're 21. I think that's an appropriate age to take back what should be ours. Oh, God, our traits are looking all over the place, aren't they? Got Rowdy and Willful, which is obviously incredible because that's what you ideally want out of Struggle. Um, patient is good. Slothful is bad. Slothful we can get rid of, though. I think it hinders your education quite a lot, so don't really know what I can do about that as a child. Time for me to receive a proper education. Life is so full of opportunities. What will I become? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. I think we're going to go for the martial education. Even though we're Guild of Reaver, which obviously gives us martial minus four. Actually, that's... I may... I don't know if I'm happy with how I balance that. In hindsight, it's fine. You know what? We'll take that. Rowdy, Willful, we're great. Okay, we got Patient. We lost Slothful, but gained Train Fighter. So, obviously, that's the trade-off. I assume that's something to do with the uh, training troops with the Marshal. But, honestly, I've never played as a child before that was trained by a Marshal. So, I don't know for a fact. But, that's pretty useful. Um, obviously we'll spend as much as possible to get the highest education. He's looking like a good character. I think he's going to come out okay. Losing playful and getting deceitful. Okay, fair enough. Gregarious is probably the best outcome from playful, but I don't think our guardian has Gregarious. He might have deceitful as well, which would definitely influence that. Um, he's actually not a bad guardian. Diligent, patient, brave, malaise, disfigured, paranoid, lustful. He's not bad. Shrewd, burnt, Durandon, small. Skilled commander and brilliant commander too. This guy's very qualified. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened. This trait, honestly, th these traits are so screwed. Again, once this generation dies out, we'll be back to a, a normal game, more or less. No, wait, revolt? Slave revolt was that? War revolt was that? It was a 
Westland the slave right okay let me deal with this quickly I've read about the great men in history and someday I want to be like them gain the trait ambitious lose the trait willful awesome okay well that seems like a pretty good outcome to me uh, wait, what are our stats? Holy shit. Sorry, I thought I said 18 martial then. I was going to say, for a Guild of River character, that's really good. But 18 in stewardship as well, really good. Nicely rounded character. We've just got to hope that Rowdy turns into, what is that? Brawny, Honest, Rude, Arbitrary, Dull. Obviously, we want, you know, Brawny out of that. That's pretty much the only good outcome there, unfortunately. This character's looking okay. I don't think... I don't think we're going to be in a bad situation at all with this guy. Holy shit. It worked. I like to climb, wrestle, and run. As I grow older, I'm beginning to notice I'm physically stronger than others. It's good to be strong. Lose Rowdy, gain Brawny. Thank the gods for that. That is incredible. Marshall plus two, diplomacy plus one, health plus one, blah, 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 blah. Oh, the dragon taming chance. There's me, like, skipping over that, but that was actually really relevant. We've come out pretty well. The downside to this character as he stands, trained fighter. If we could get that just a bit higher, I'd be fine with it. Now, what's our guardian got? Nothing. Mm, that might have been my own mistake. Luckily for us, this is a weird turn of events. A Septon had this man for sale, who is a brilliant commander, formidable fighter, and slave knight. Seems odd that a Septon would have a knight enslaved, in, uh, seeing as in the Game of Thrones, or knight to like holy warriors. Uh, they are blessed by a Septon, it says there. Very odd. Thank you very much. I will take that man. Um, apparently, Sir Ed... Sure, Sir Edmo will fight Sir Edric. I thought they were the same man then. Um, oh no, he was really some... Got ourselves a fresh one. So, Walder of Silver Hill. Look at this guy. Formidable fighter, knight, random bloodline, skill commander, which is a little bit of downside, but he is brave, erudite, zealous, humble. He's a good guardian. You are now my guardian as well, my good friend. Newt, you will be a warrior. You will become a dragon, Newt. You will swim up that waterfall. Don't worry. Um, my guardian took me as a squire. Excellent. Oh, because he's a knight as well. I never thought about that aspect of it. But that's very, very useful. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so that's also going to help out with our... Martial education, I see. Maybe even gets up to formidable fighter as well. That would be really, really cool. Because I think that's the first character we've had with that. So we'd be able to, you know, properly lead armies as a true, like, dragon knight sort of thing. That would be very cool. Let's get Walder on the council. Let's have him uh, train children, funnily enough. Seems pretty appropriate. Time. We're 14. We can get married to Tansale Mandalay. So she was the, she was a really good one, wasn't she? Oh, she came out homosexual but lustful, so they cancel each other out. That's just That's just science. You can't argue with that. We can actually try and have a son now, funnily enough. Even though we're 14, you know, it's medieval times. Say what you will about that. What is going on? Why is my realm on fire? Why is the... Is that not the Stepstones? Lonely Light has the flag of... Uh, quite a scary flag, actually. It's, it's a flag of um, the Stepstones. So pirates, that type of thing. Which is not ours, but between our territories. So maybe I should probably grab that up. Weird. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, thanks, Mr. Skeletal. Let's get married. Uh, is it done? Oh, host wedding feast. There we go. Right. All my vassals will be there. This is the first thing I've actually been able to do with this character this entire game. Besides just responding to events and responding to the council and my region and stuff. I will spend lavishly. 500 gold. It must be capped at 500 gold because that's ridiculous. I thank you for your invocation, but I will not... Okay, that's nice. At least they're being cordial about it and not saying, Hey, Newt, you weird little lizard freak. I'm not coming to your wedding. Peasants are only good for following my commands. Walder of Silver Hill will surely agree. So this is the arbitrary event. If our guardian is a lovely, nice man, he will beat it out of us. We will gain just. Oh shit, instead we gain cruel. Not great, but we can get rid of cruel. We can newt the eagle, a winged lizard, you say. I'll take that. Just a small private funeral will suffice. A big glorious ceremony. Yes, welcome to the wedding. Oh, God, she's got double chin. You call that immaculate? Citation needed. Now for the feast. Send supplies to relieve them. That's one of our colonies starving to death. There's nothing I can do about that. Council are fucking things up. A fine tradition. Newt and Tansel shall be bedded. Do we really have to be? Can it not wait? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Newt. I'm sorry that I've done this to you. Sure, we'll take this guy. Why not? Loyal courtiers are fine by me. I had great thumb. And so did everyone else. That's opinion plus 10. Age prestige. Lots of prestige for all for for us, depending on you know who went to the wedding. Um, revolt us down. That's fine. Drilling by day and night because he just got married. No, being a squire is hard, but it's the price to pay for glory. Ten percent chance of gaining skilled fighter. I didn't realise that squire event was was based on a percent chance. I thought it was uh, leveling up, similar to you know just when you force train your children, things like that. Come on. 
Well, you know what? It was a low chance anyway. I've never felt so betrayed. Queen Shirley of the Iron Islands has declared Queen Shirley's claim on the Iron Islands war on Iron King Newt Eagle of the Iron Islands. She has the Kingdom of the Iron Isles, and I'm not sure how she got that. Oh, it's because I don't... Right, there is no Kingdom of the Iron Isles. It's it, it basically upgraded into an Empire-level title. Okay, how many men she got? 36,000. She probably should have bought more men. Good luck with that. Traitors, all of them. Oh, God, my vassals are joining her. Oh, just Lord Reaver Harbert the Black. Fine. This guy's joining us. Tyrosh is joining us. They'll surely honor their obligations. 36,000 men landed in my capital. Not impressed by that at all. Although we can reinforce pretty instantly and probably win that, to be honest with you. Let's give it a go. We are the defenders, and we have a commander, and they don't. Ooh, we might be okay. Hang on. Right. Let's actually be careful here, because this could either win us or lose us the war. Uh, raise some fleets. Get who you can. Onto, onto your boats. Oh, God. I can't select armies to embark, because there's a battle. Ah. Um... Get on the get on the boats. Oh, the boats are moving. I've 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 done this completely wrong. You know, what, let's disband those troops. That's fine. Move the boats over to Pike. We can probably pick up some troops on the way there. You know, what, move south. Grab those guys. All right, you guys get up here. I woke up in the middle of the night. My heart racing. My whole body's feeling strange. What was I dreaming about? Gwyn kissing me. The 34. Oh, she's immaculate. Okay, fair enough. Um, she gets me all excited. 33 percent chance of getting lost. Well, I'll take it. No, I won't. Okay. Oh, shit. This is going to be dangerous. It's going to be close, either way. Where are my retinues? I actually don't know. Um, do I want to kill... No, of course it's not his fault. He's my house, you fool. My vassals view me with respect. Oh, excellent. Okay. We we should win this, surely. Yeah, I think we are going to win this. Oh, 54,000 men. Yeah, we've got this. She's done. Right, let's reinforce with these guys as well. Just to... Nice. Good war. No problems. Troops down. You're done. Thank you for turning up. Your husband, I'm going to execute as a show of uh, as a show of fear, as a show of uh, as my first sort of action as ruler. What am I going to do with her? We can't execute her because we'll become a kinslayer, I assume. Thing is, this game seems pretty crazy about that. Let him bend the knee. Yeah, sure. Let them bend the knee. Why not? Might as well keep them on side a little bit. Let him rot. Oh, there are my retinues. They're in the Westerlands, right. Till next time. You know what? What's nice is not many of our vassals joined that rebellion. How old are we now? 14 still. Feels like it's taking forever. 2nd of December. We're 15 now. We're 15 now. We look kind of okay. You know what? We didn't come out a hideous character. That's fine. Good strong jawline. A nice crown. Maybe could do with a haircut and a beard, but that's fine. These past few weeks, Sir Walder has been drilling me in the use of swords and lances. The instruction has been hard and stern, but my prowess increased to skilled fighter. Excellent. 16 Marshall. Not ideal, but obviously we haven't got our education focus yet, and that could come out very, very well. Council voted against. That's fine. Gladly. Selling more things just because we really can't do much else with them. And obviously we're going to join the Alchemist Guild because there is magic in the world now. So that's definitely something we want to do. Sorry, technological advancements. That's not right at all. <laughs> okay, weird. Um, let's get these guys overseeing. Only six more months now. Well, I mean, five more months, sort of. Uh, we shall aid you? Um, why would we do that? Did not do join coalition? No, absolutely not. I don't know who you are. I don't care about that. I finished my education in the ways of war. I feel I've tra found tra fair pair. He's a brilliant commander. More importantly, holy shit, 23 marshal. We've done it. Rulership focus. Let's get rid of cruel. Flip over to just. I think that's one thing we need to do before we do that. Let's face the dragon. What dragon shall I face? Steve or whatever. You know, he sounds very nonchalant about, yeah, I'll face Steve or whatever. It doesn't matter. Steve or whatever, you will be mine. Here we go. He's a reclusive beast. We could not find him. Steve, why do you hide Steve when I must tame you before this video ends? Because this has been going on forever. Steve or whatever. Let's tame Steve. Come on. Steve. Steve, don't do this. This is, this is literally never going to work. This is never, this is never going to work. It worked. You've scoured the area in search of Steve or whatever, and you've finally cornered the beast. How shall I deal with him? You're mine. Steve? Steve? Send him a gift. Steve? Be good. You've successfully... St <laughs> I love this name so much. It's so nonchalant. You've successfully st tamed Steve. Or whatever. The ward is mine. Gain the trait. Fucking dragon rider. We've done it. 
We've gone from age 2 to age 16 and got ourselves our dragon back. Oh, Steve. You dragon-slaying, obedient dragon. How I love you, Steve. Thank you for watching. This has been a long time for me to actually get him up those 17 years. That's, that's been a crazy amount of time. Or, or, well, technically 14 years, but there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. Next episode, we're actually going to do something, I promise. We, I'm actually going to try and take the entire Iron Throne next episode. It may even be the final episode. And to celebrate, we'll, we'll cut our man's beard here. Oh, God. Oh, these are these are just not good, are they? What graphical culture? These are these are all terrible. Oh, okay. You know what? Some of these are fine. Uh, let's give it like this one. And hairstyle. Go for like... Uh, go for like... Mm, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that one. There we go. Excellent. See you next time.